and we are back. <laughs> and I gotta say, I don't know how long we're gonna keep the flow because the drinks are getting really, really good. <laughs> and it's starting to go through the system, and now it's like I feel like I'm bobbing and weaving. You know what I'm saying, yeah, you are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, old school style, uh, uh street, street shadow boxing. Uh, so ghost 52, yeah, word up. So ghost, we were in the topic of Top Gun. Oh, that landing in Top Gun oh. was, it was atrocious. I don't think. I know anybody that got it because I know I did it. I used to get mad. Oh, what? And I that's and I never I hated that. And you know, it was stuck because Top Gun was the big thing back at that time. So you know, everybody was the game was really in reality it was garbage if you look at it today for today's standards. But it was a big deal because it was a licensed game. Top Gun was like the sh the, the shit. Tom Cruise, yeah. come on! Everybody wanted to be Tom Cruise, the pretty boy Floyd. What? Yeah. He was getting paid. That's so anyway, uh, you know, so it was fun, you know. But a, a landing ghost. Oh, man. tell me, any horrific stories? All right, this story, man, this story, I never forget it. Ah, oh, man, memories. All right, I was good at video games, like I told you before, and Top Gun was one of the games your boy that goes with the most. Oh, couldn't even land that on the battleship. I'm being honest. I couldn't do it either. One why. day, my cousin Eddie spent the night. My cousin Wally, his brother Ricky. I even think, I know my brother was there. I even think my cousin Senna was around. I don't know. Right. But anyway, my brother was there. My father goes, all right. I got $10 right now. Who could land that play? Oh, shit. Yo, you know you me. Got involved? When I was a kid, what? No, my father's new. No, no, no. Say he got involved with the bet. Yeah, with bet. the bet. He was my super you up. I was small, so you know I grabbed that controller. I said, I'm good. Right. Shh, I'm flying around. I'm, from, I'm, I'm straight. I'm from Geisley. What? When I go in, boom, 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 boom. I go to land it, right? The battleship's here. I go. <laughs> I, I lost. Hey. My cousin Rick. He's flying. Right. Oh, he's All dead. Way. My cousin Ed. Crash. Now, we tried. My cousin Wally. I swear to God, it went like this. And it went, I don't know how he did it. It just changed the scenery. I'm like, yo, and this cousin right here, I'm like, no way. No way. He said. He did it? Oh, my cousin Snap! Yo, no lie. What? I'm not. Oh, snap! I'm not out there. Soon as my cousin Wally landed that plane, my cousin Eddie punched him in the mouth. <laughs> I said, oh, I was like, oh, my cousin snuck my other cousin. This is real my Puerto Rican was, story, real. let me tell you. Yeah, I'm not lying to you. Cousins against cousins, they would compete about anything, and it would get down and dirty. Yo, my cousin punched my other cousin in the mouth with the eyes. Oh, like, damn. It popped off right there in the living room. My father was like, hey, 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 what? <laughs> yeah. it got out of hand. I was looking to him. Oh, shit. Like, oh, oh, hold up. It's just a game, kid. Wally, I ain't gonna lie, man. He was younger, so he kind of had tears in his eyes, but he had $10. Mm. When well, my cousin Ed got in trouble, my father was like, he got to go. You know? But it is what it is. I I haven't, I still haven't landed that plane. That game, I did not land that I, plane. I never even tried. I asked my cousin Wally. Awesome. He said it was easy. Let me tell you something. I think he got lucky. I think he he might have. I, so. I, I mean, it was four y'all. Yeah. I tried how many times? I ain't gonna lie, we tried. He got it on his first try. How I many? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, he landed on his first try. Like, yeah, well, beginner's his luck, it's possible. Nah, man, I've been trying for days. I was trying to do that. Hey, months for me, girl. I'm trying to land it, so I'm falling short in there. That's a great story. Over. See, that's a but funny my story. My cousin landed perfect. He said, "Huh?" Ah! And it drives like it hooked onto that string or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. it went in. I said. Can you imagine, and goes, can you imagine? And you viewers will probably agree with us anyway, or, or think about it this way. Can you imagine it with all the people like, you know, like a Randall Thor or, or like, what's his other name? Stally, Stally. Since they're so big on the achievements, if they had to get like a specific achievement, they probably have broke the console. Oh, man, back then. That's it. I don't know anybody to, to this day. You just had to be a real gamer and real good at it. Oh, so shout outs to your cousin. What was his name? <laughs> shout outs to my cousin Ed and shout outs to my cousin Wally. Wally! That, that was the last time I 
hilarious, man. My, my older cousin. Those were good that. stories, dude. I know so, they sound messed up. They, but they that was the that is the type of unique experience that are prices that gaming brings to people's lives. You know, man, the truth. Let's be honest, man. A lot of these gaming things bring a lot of fights, man. <laughs> Especially in the arcade. You up, what? You think that bullshit social media shit work with us then? You, you can hide behind a computer now. But if you were in the arcade, oh, put up that quarter. Yeah. Once you were done, if the other person thought you cheated or you did cheat and you knew you cheated, that was a fight. Automatic yeah. fight. Oh, you might be playing uh, and get snuffed. I mean, you might be like this. <laughs> Moving the control thing. Yeah, the oh. Fish! Oh, oh what's you, that? You, 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 Still trying to probably play the game if you're a sucker. All, all, that's, all that laughing you're doing, you get rocked. What? They, that was, mm, we ain't having that. I remember Turtles of Time playing in there too. Oh man, that was dope. Go to your piece of shop, you know, you get your piece of Right, shop, right, right. Hot chocolate or so or whatever. You and you know, I don't know if this happened with you. But you ever noticed, right? Like the hotness, like the hot games, like the real rare, like hot ones, like the Double Dragon, Street Fighter, Dragons, or X Men, or even Turtles. They used to have them in. Like that one machine in like a pizza store, like eight blocks from you, or in the laundry man. You have to, you would walk all the way just to make sure you go play that every day after school and shit. Yeah. Like, so and then you go to the arcades, you don't even see them. Like, what's going on? Here? Yeah, times change, man. You know, as a gamer, you know, I understand we got consoles and all of this, tablets now, everything. We didn't have that back then. Oh, yeah. To have fun, you would go. You want to play a game? We had to walk sometimes. Yeah. Couple blocks. Yeah, play these Games. Wait for the weekend to go to our cousin's house in another yeah. town because they had it in a specific store. It was just different. It was, different. It was dope, man. Like yeah, every appreciation for every year 51, like playing certain games, like right, right. Jurassic Park. You know, you got man, certain yeah. things. Like for another game that was crazy to me, man, you might laugh, is it's Jaws. They go, ooh, uh, ooh, I remember ooh, that. Going through the yeah. <laughs> you know, he's going like that, and you got a little school. Yes, <laughs> yes, I remember that. that. Look so, at it was dope back then. But it, it was simple fun, but it was yeah. fun, right? Like, see, for young young guys out there and young kids out there, man, gaming, man, y'all are so lucky. Because oh, when I started, yeah, no it was 16-bit and 8-bit and all that. And the graphics was nothing like that. Oh, we, hell we no. so lucky. Compared, we liked it no matter what. Well, Ghost Ghosts or, or Double Dragon or these things. Look, look what they got now, man. Rise, my kids. <laughs> Battlefront. What? It's a damn shit. Look at Pac-Man. Look at Cetapia. When you look at all these games, it's like, it's it's a different league. And all these kids and gamers out there, you're spoiled. Because if you're, you wasn't at our time, and these were the games, and you even further than me, but you can go further back. Right, right. When, when the gaming really started. Because a lot of this, what we're talking about, is a piece of history. Yeah, See, yeah. People, people fail to realize that well, the majority was, of all of this are history. Yes. History. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the truth of the matter was, not to cut you off, no, I'm sorry, because this is your interview, obviously. Uh, you know, gaming, when I grew up, I got told ghosts, it was it was looked at by a lot of people as demonic, garbage, uh, giving people, or kids, mental issues, it was stunt them that they didn't want to go to school, make them slow, and, uh, you know, people like me and E Rock, Sega Forever, and Master Chief, Ghost also to a certain extent, because Ghost is 34. I'm 41. I'm only a little bit older than him, but he's been long enough to have experienced a lot of that as well. Plus, he had older brothers that were doing it from my generation. You know what I mean? So he could relate. Um, you know, it, it just it was looked at as, you know, a joke, I guess. And it's come so far. Now it's the highest grossing medium of entertainment. In the world, yeah, man, it came a long way. It's cultural. It's part. It's, it's part of pop culture now. It's mm -hmm. part of life of our daily living. Uh, you, you know, you, you don't go anywhere where there's no relation to video games in most cases. So, Ghost, let me ask you something. Uh, so, what was your favorite Genesis game? Then? What was your favorite Genesis game? Mm. And what was your favorite arcade game? Mm. And maybe, and also a three-part question. And what was, and what was your favorite game? All the consoles since you played Genesis until this point that you really like, that you don't mind going back and playing it over, over, and you still have fun. And I can tell you mine, and people will start laughing like, damn, man, that shit, oh, stop that shit. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, like, the, uh, from the Genesis to the arcade to like now. Right. 
from Genesis, I would have to say I like the Ultra Beast. I like Golden Goblins. Golden Axe was my shit. Well, Golden Goblins, I don't know if you know. Ghost it, it, no, no, Golden Goblins was the sequel. Ghost and Goblins was the original one that yeah. came out in the arcade. That was the first one. Mm -hmm. And Ghouls and Goblins, um, or I think it was called Ghouls and Ghost, I think. Ghouls and Ghost. Was on Genesis. Genesis. That was the arcade one too, but it was the sequel. I remember going. It was part two. I remember going towards the end of Ghouls and Ghosts, it's like these green little like hands, and then you jump down, and it drags you down like this. That and then when you go, it's like these green things, it's like green stuff on the ground. That track. game is hard. And they spit out things, and you gotta shoot, you gotta jump, yeah. shoot up, or shoot on the side down. Yes, but that game is hard. It was, and Strider was my shit. Oh, Strider was good. Strider, man, I'm gonna be honest, that is a tough one. See, see, now you got, I'm naming them, but Shinobi was dope. I'm sorry. Shinobi was dope. I, I wanted to ask you too, um, there was another ninja game besides um, Shadow Dance and Shinobi, remember what we were talking about? Okay. There was another ninja game where um, the person, it's like at the end, it's two ninjas. I don't know how to explain my cousin Ed beat it in front of me. It's like a scenery where they run and they jump and they go and they hit and they land. Well, that sounds like the beginning opening scene of Ninja Gaiden on uh, the arcade. At the end, it probably I know, was a ninja one, guy in our the game. Falls, and when my cousin ran, the last master, I know he cut him. And my cousin always lost. And one day he went, and, he, and the guy drops. Yeah. And my cousin had one. It was a ninja game. Unless it was Ninja Warriors, which it was on three screens. I I, oh, man, my cousin had, I wish I could talk to him. What was that game that I seen him play? That was dope. You that play, was nice. Did you, ever, did you ever play the ninja guy in the arcade? I think I did. There was the one with the blue one and the red one, and, and it, would, it would flip, it would beat them up. It was not like the NES one or like the one that we know from the OG. It was more like, four, four, four. I remember that. You know, you the pick noise. up and fling yeah. stuff and fling the guys. I have that on the Wii. And by the way, Ghost is my test, like my proof in my testimony. We're sitting in front of my setup, and I have my 360, the Xbox One S, the PS3, the OG. The Wii U and the PS4. Oh, in front of me. Oh, in front of me. <laughs> he's he's my lie, I'm cheesing right I now. I have two PS2s over there. I have oh. three other Xbox One S. I have the Dreamcast over there as well. And I think I have a Turbo Graphics somewhere in the house. What? <laughs> but, Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You're a mini, you're a mini game stop, man. Uh, you know, you're really mini game stop. Really game stop. Man, man, just make my money back. I mean, really. A lot of, you got a lot of consoles, man. I'm being honest. And you have a lot of games. I'm being honest. Too many. Just your, I didn't even bring out my OG out Xbox there. collection. YouTube is out there. He bought. It's the truth. Again. He's, he's a real gamer. It's he the beer talking, it. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. It's the refrescos. It's not me. So, well, I'm a fraud. I'm a, Remember that. I'm going to say this. It was a lot of arcade games, but I can't lie. My arcade one will be Mortal Kombat. Okay. I'm going to be Good there. choice. Are you a big fighting fan? I, when I was younger, yeah, I was a big okay, fighting fan. Now I am garbage. I am trash. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm not the best in the world. I'll try. By the but way, like back then. just so you guys know, hard on fighters. just so you guys know, and this is with, you know, loads of gratitude, Ghost came to visit me, and him and his wife were so kind. And they brought me a copy of Injustice 2, I can't lie. And I was in shock, and it was heartfelt, it was touching. I didn't expect it. I didn't even think anything like that. Um, so, you know, it was really nice. So I'm going to look forward to trying it out, definitely. Oh, man, you're gonna try. Uh, it's a keeper. I can't get rid of it because it's a, a sentimental value now. So, That's you know, I, you, yes, absolutely. I appreciate it. That's why I'm putting it up in the video, even though it has nothing to do with the content, but... It was Ghost who brought it with his wife, and it means a lot to me. Which is why, you know, I say gaming is also, special, you know. Also, he, What's check up? this out. This is to let people know. Mm -hmm. We ain't fun over here, man. We in our little set, in our community, we meet each that. other, and we show love. That's what it's all about. Not where it's all about? you somewhere, oh, yeah, you my dude, yeah, you my dude, and then try to stab somebody in the back. That's right. not what friends do, right. bro. Right. We don't do that. Right. Not on our side. We don't do that at all. It shouldn't be, anyway. For the exactly. most part, it shouldn't be, yeah. 
Right? He about to tell you this. On so the arcade was Mortal Kombat. The arcade was Mortal Kombat, and I can't lie. Street Fighter. I can't lie. Like I said before, Street Fighter was my. What I used to do when I was younger, I used to stand in one side, and my cousin was standing the other, and we would go at it. Who was the best? I'm doing a duke. Now I used to do a duke. You 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 can't jump towards each other. You gotta try to stop it with your duke. Yeah. And whoever wins the game is the best. Man, I done crack my cousin. People used to be cheesy with that. Cheesy with that. Duke. 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 What do you do with this? 24 days later, there's still Hadouken. What? (laughs) Those are my Hadoukens. My favorite character will always be Ken. Right. Mortal Kombat, it will always be Sub Zero. Right, right. Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung could transform into everybody. Okay. He was dope. When I see him, when he grabbed the guy and he did all of that, and you see the soul and the children, the Mortal Kombat was the shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. Street Fighter was dope. (laughs) But when they was doing fatalities, Blood. You know, it was a wrap. Yeah, but the thing was, it, it, it was a blessing because that era, okay, it was like bow, 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 back to back. No. You had Street Fighter 2, which was a resurgence because Fighting Streets was the original one and no one liked it. It didn't, it didn't kick off. As a lot, and a lot of people don't know, Fighting Streets actually came into console, which was on the TurboGrafx CD. Mm. I don't know if you ever played it. Um, and a lot of people didn't play it. I think it was on another format. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Don't judge me. I'm having some good refrescos. Uh, <laughs> so I can't remember. But to get the point across, um, we had Street Fighter. Then shortly after, we had the pre- with the pre-rendered graphics, you know, the, like the Pit Fighters, which was garbage, I'm sorry, at the time. Garbage. Pit Fighters. Oh, Pit Fighters. I'm sorry, yeah. But they looked like pre-rendered people. They did Mortal Kombat, and then you saw this violence, which you never saw before in any video game. It was like, what the fuck is this? And the good thing about it, they got away with it because it's in the arcade. In the arcade, you were not allowed to go there and do things unless you had supervision from a parent or an adult. In, in most cases, okay, especially if you were a teenager. If you were younger, obviously your parents had to come in. And then, shortly after, I think it was maybe two years after, maybe a year, you had the first... 100% 3D fighting game in virtual reality style. The Virtual Fighter from Sega. Oh, man. Yo, I Which was inducted to the Hall of Fame of video games. To be honest. And the, the Guinness Record. Mind. Mind. Virtual Fighters mm-hmm. blew my mind. When I seen Virtual Fighters, is when I went to Great, at the time, I think it was Great Adventures or something. I went to the arcade room. Mm-hmm. I'm looking, I'm seeing, you know, they look kind of funny with the squares, like, with the thing. And I'm seeing... I'm like, oh, I'm seeing people playing it. I'm like, I got to get down in this. What right. is this? Right. Like, I, it blew my mind, Virtual Fighters. And I ain't gonna lie, the game is dope. Yeah. When I was yeah. growing up and playing Virtual Fighters, that was fire. Because I'll never forget going in there and, oh, trying, get my butt whipped or winning. And then somebody scrapes you up. You know how it is. You pop a quarter in, you lose, pop another quarter in. Damn, you out, you gotta try to get it. Somebody else get it. Right, right, right. So you never get the guy to get revenge. But yeah, man, that's the experience of. Experiencing games like and having fun. Right now, now nowadays you don't really get too much arcades right. like that no more. Right. You know well, the kids don't know what an arcade is because oh, most of them are missing. gone. They're obsolete. They're yeah. basically a diary. So, in the sake of you know time and constraint, um, so what was your favorite right. game to this point? Oh, I would say I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh oh, oh. here we come. I know the answer. I think. I think my favorite game. Uh-oh. Y'all might laugh at me, but it will be Skyrim. That was a oh, that's right. He did say that. That is yes. my, that game. You know what? I thought you were going to say Call of Duty. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like my boy Kalada said, Call of Duty. You say Call of Duty, and then people be like, what a casual. He's no. such a casual. Yeah. Call of Duty, no. But, yeah, I ain't going to lie. Call of Duty is my shit. Right. Yeah, but, see... When I, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to be honest with the YouTubers out there. I wasn't too into, like, Halo like that. I wasn't I wasn't really into that. Because the people I was around, and certain family members and certain things, everything was Call of Duty. Uh, so, Halo, I got into it. Shout-outs to Master Chief. You already know, Sir Miracle Mignon, with the Halo talking to me and everything. And I got to be, I played Halo. Matter of fact, before Master Chief said that, my cousins Gabriel and Yayo, no, Yayo, and my cousin Jesus had Halo. They had the Halos, but when I used to go over there, 
at the time, you know, I would chill. At the time, I was smoking. I don't smoke no more. Smoke bud. And I would relax, smoke weed with them. And I look, and they play a hymn. So I'm like, what's this? They play, you want to play? I'm like, nah, I'm watching it. I ain't really like it too much because you couldn't run fast. Right. You couldn't do certain things. See, these handles now, I could have fucks with. You want to know what I mean? Right. You can right. run. You can do all this. It's right. quick. So right. it's nice. You know, it's fun. But my cousins, with my two younger cousins, was introducing me to Halo. Okay. And this crazy shit is, shout out to y'all, bro, because I didn't really think Halo was good. And they told me it was, it was, it was good. I didn't even like Halo. Honestly, honestly, I had it for the OG. But I never liked the game until I played played four, right? And then, but I played three, and I kind of liked it, but I was like, "Eh, it feels dated because you can't run, and then you already had games that introduced things like running and things like that. So I didn't really like it, but then I played four, and I thought four was a fucking epic, epic. I love four. Then I played Reach. Reach was was the chain, también. I kind of played them in different parts. I didn't play them in <coughs> chronological order. But now, after playing five, and then the, the Master Chief Collection all in one package. Oh, uh, man. I mean, I played one, but I never played two until the Master Chief Collection. What I honest. played the demo. Oh, and ODST. ODST is actually ODST. 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 another one. See, I, what, with the Halos, when I got to play their Master Chief Collection, mm-hmm. was fire. Now, when I got to do that, he got, and I got to play that one, it was, it was some dope. But when I seen the beta for five, yeah, you that five. blew my yeah, mind. Yeah, a lot of people, I even did a, a video, people. and for all my subscribers out there that know your boy the Ghost of the Most, you know I had a video. Ghost where I was like, Yo, good lad, hop in the whip, and I was playing that mob deep right like there. Yeah. And at the time, Wolf, and, you know all the guys. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I played that. I liked it. Play Halo, Master Chief, then Master Chief. And Merck was like, ah, right, Ghost, this and that. He was schooling me on the Halo, the Halo world and all that. Right, right, and right. And then Matt playing with Master Chief. Oh, Master Chief is a monster. Yeah, and the things. lore. Playing Even 100. Yeah. 100 knows his stuff, too. He yeah, loves yeah. that thing. Yeah. So I would always say, Matt, down with Halo and all that, Master Chief and was a true for me. See, right. for me, I was there with Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty, I played Black Ops 1, 2. Uh-huh. I played uh, most of the Call of Duties I played. They got my, my, um, my ranks up and all that. My KDs was good. Right. But these Call of Duty's coming up now, before I head into that, I want to say, uh, in Call of Duty Ghost, I was ranked 15th in the world in hardcore team deathmatch. Mm. 15th nice. in the world. That's pretty sweet. Not no 100, 1,000, 15. Right. It's so hard to get there because these dudes are one and all that. They have no life. <laughs> they have no life. You ain't catching up to dudes like that that ain't got a job. Right, right. All they doing is staying home, scratching their ass, sniffing their fingers, and playing the game, bro. That's people that's real uh, gamers on that. Because if you got a job you, and you a real worker and you're a real man, and you can buy your games and play them, but you're not being all the games you buy. Yeah, yeah it's Remember, hard. You got to go to bed. It's hard because back then, work. it was hard. Back then, we used to get games yeah. periodically. It was not until, like, the Genesis era where we started, where we got a slew of games back to back. And now it's a lot of titles, man. We got a lot of backlog what? game. I got a backlog of list of games that I yeah, got chunks yeah, yeah, yeah. and I only got a certain amount of hours. So this is really the time that I can really game game. Plus, like Saturday, so what I understand Saturday. with you. Friday. See, Ghost, I don't want to get too personal because it's his business. But what I understand, Ghost had some personal problems in his life. He had to go away for a while. Came back. So you kind of miss a lot of 360 stuff. Oh, away oh, now, right? Uh-huh. I ain't ashamed. Right. No, 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 no worries. I'm just saying. For your gamers out there, be smart. And for your young guys out there, man, be smart, man. Just don't don't mess around with your life and mess up, man, and doing the wrong things. Cause right. It's going to cost you. Yeah. And that place ain't meant for a lot of people, man. They hustle drugs. They think they tough. But when you go in there, if you ain't got these, and you ain't nice with these, and you ain't got the heart to stick somebody, you pussy, basically. And I'm being honest, people gonna run in your locker. So, jail's not meant for everybody. If yes. you ain't a real dude, don't sell the drugs. If you can't do the, if you can't do the time, don't do, do the crime. crime. Right, right. It's like, Trust that's me, what you say. That's where all the real niggas is at. That's what you're saying. Yeah. So when or, you get lanes, what's gonna happen to lanes when they fall in there? Not only the real niggas, that's where all the guys that really just don't care. Exactly. Right? Like, they don't they, care. They just don't so care. So it is. It is. That's why I said you better right. be nice with these, and you better have the heart. In Spanish, you better have that corazón, nigga. Right. Corazón. <laughs> So check it out. Go ahead. 
Let me ask you another question. Um, like because again, look at time flying by because we got having a good combo. Yeah. Um. So, um, what would you say? Okay. Um. Since I asked you, what were your favorite games out of all the formats? I mean, okay, all the formats: arcade. Now we have mobile, you know, portable gaming, and we also have uh, console gaming. What is still your most favorite? Arcade, even though they don't exist, but you know the fact that you mm. experience it. Mobile gaming on the go or at home? Ah oh, man, I gotta say, man, you know, at home. Okay. I got we gotta go to the to, to the essence, man. The, what you got? Your console. That's what I'm a console gamer. That's that was my life. When I got my console, I was so excited. And my I ain't gonna lie, the three to me. Everybody thinks the PlayStation 2 was the best, best console ever. Hell no. It only sold because it had uh, fucking DVDs. Right, Don't right. get me wrong, it had games and it sold. And, this is not, and, that, and that's not a bad Yeah, you're right. It had and a PlayStation. It was it, so it, dirt it, cheap and it was the cheapest DVD player you could afford. At the time, right. At the time. And most of them so were $300, $400. Right. Break, record breaking. They can, they can go somewhere and... Put their head in the closet or put well, it back your head and put it in the toilet bowl. Well, it, it was a place where you could play the DVDs and your games. Yeah. So you're right, it's not even bad. But I'm going to be honest, the 360 was dope. Like, like, I love so, my so Xbox One now. Right, right, right. Right. Hey, the indie, but my the... heart will always be with my first console ever. I ain't going to lie. Right. That will always be my favorite console because that was something that I enjoyed. The 360? Yeah. No, no. 360 to me was dope. Dope. Okay, was okay. But. The console that always got my heart will always be the console that we've seen in the store today. Okay. The Sega Genesis 16 bit will always be my heart. Oh, okay, okay. That, my father's dead and gone, and that's the first one. Right, I've hey, got. listen. And that will always be my But. God bless him, wherever yeah. it may be. So I'll tell you this. The 360 was my shit. The PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm. Not 3, not 2. 2 was dope, too, but it wasn't like what people be blowing it up because they're just PlayStation heads. Right. Let's be honest here. I even love, the Xbox One is the truth. I love it. My 360 was dope. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm going for, as me, my opinion on what console I love, it will always be my childhood. Right. That would be Genesis, bro. Like, so, out of Nintendo, though, because I had Super Nintendo, I had stuff like that. Right. So, so, so your, what's your Game favorite Game for, Game especially, Game. I guess, with the social aspect, arcade aspect, social, I mean, the arcade. social... No, no, I'm saying it's the social aspect of consoles that you can play online yeah. with your yeah. friends. That's how we bet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is a wonderful thing. Uh, I guess that's why you choose console. Console, home console over everything else. Yes. Yeah. I think I would say the same. I just miss the arcades because they used to have the yeah, same the type of... Uh, in the arcade, we used to have the same type of experience mm -hmm. and social aspect, but it was in person. And I miss the person. This right here is yeah. me. This is old. It's, I like this. Getting to meet people, becoming friends, meeting new people that like what you do, you know, seeing their style, skills, what they played, what you do, and you talk, and you just, it, you socialize for real, real life. It, it, this is, this, that's why I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you, know, you know what was dope back in the days? You remember, there wasn't no internet, yeah. there wasn't none of that. You had to go to your boy's house, chill with controllers like me and you do all right. that, and we have a competition. Or share consoles. Like, exactly. I would trade yours, you would share mine, or borrow for a month, you borrow yours for a month, and you mess it up, then I keep yours. That's all you say. It's like this. You grab one of those, Heba, right? I pull it out, like, yo, Heba, you play the Terminator? Yes. You'll be like, if we couldn't afford to buy a game and you had yeah, it, I would buy I'll one. Lend it to you. you buy another one, we lend yeah, it. We exactly. lend it, share it together. Like, oh, all right, dog, I finished this one, you finished that one. Not yet, but I like that one. All right, so here, let me borrow that one, you borrow this one, give you two or three days. Better. Right. And you go like that, and you have fun. And you know, like, I, this guy, he lived on a, what? I was living on the ninth floor at one time, and Mike, Mike lived on the 10th floor. And Mike would always come down, and he'll let me a Sega Genesis game, but he knew I had all the games. Right. So now that he would ball, my father liked him. So he, Mike was older than me, so my father would be like, go ahead, Mike, take one or two games, let me he'll shoot, see the games like that, and he'll take them. That's a great story. So, yeah, like, so with that said, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's all right. But running time is going to cut off. Mm -hmm. The next question is going to be after you finish telling me the story about Mike, about your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. We'll okay. be right back. Hey, man. Mm -hmm.